Nimeita hichi kikao kujadiliana na nyinyi ku take into consideration nyinyi ambao mnahusika na kuchukua mazao ya watu ufikiri mtu kakaa shambani kalima yeye na familia yake kavuna mazao kakuletea wewe kuyanunua whether ni moja kwa moja ama kupitia agent wako sawa halafu siku ya mwisho huyu mtu income yake kwa mwaka ni mara hii inategemea zao lake alilolima yeye mke wake na familia yake halafu at the end of the day huyu mtu anarudi nyumbani akiwa hana hela sawa halafu mnale, na, naona kuna mamikataba hapa yanasainiwa mamikataba ya kisheria ili ku turn the issues into legal issues na kufikiri kwamba tutapelekana mahakamani kwenda kujadili sawa kwenda kujadili kimahakama siji tumeelewana mimi sijaita hichi kikao kujadiliana vifungu vya sheria niko hapa kuuliza maswali machache menelewa lakini katika jambo ambalo sinta ruhusu kwenye sekta hii ni mtu achukue mazao ya mkulima alafu asilipe hela sasa tuanze na brother unadaiwa shingapi mtegia mtu ana jumla ya deni la bilioni moja bilioni moja milioni 1.47 Hilo ndio deni. Si ndio? Na anadaiwa toka lini? Asante. Leo ni miezi mingapi? Asante. Do you think as a lawyer wewe unaisimamia sheria na haki? Is it fair? It is not fair. Sure. Thank you very much. Kwa hiyo hawa watu wana familia zao, wana watoto wao, wanasomesha, wanalisha familia and they have everything. And that is their living. Sawa? Hawajapata pesa yao. Sawa? How am I going to get that money? Ndio yangu. Hali ya yote kuna anakiri kudaiwa hizi hela sawa na yupo tayari kuzilipa mm-hmm. na katika kuonyesha kwamba yupo tayari kuzilipa hizi fedha mm-hmm. kuna tayari kiasi fulani cha fedha ambacho ameshaanza kulipa wa kulipa amelipa shilingi milioni 180 mm-hmm. na kimbio na 21500 mhm amelipa lini sina sina Can you speak even in English I can understand. No, I, I don't understand Indian language only. No, no, Indian language I'm not speaking. Okay. Now. Speak English very well. Uh, yes. Uh, when did you this, pay that 100 million? All, this whole money mm. should be paid in the I can start the paid in the month of uh, December ending and then January and then February. Wana sheria. In the month of uh, November I will be locked up more than 20 days. Mhm. <coughs> okay. Now, mwana sheria eh? labda wewe ueleze vizuri tuelewane unauliza kwamba hizi fedha ambazo tayari amezilipa alizilipa hizi yes mm-hmm. okay tuache hilo swali mm-hmm. balance ni 1 billion balance, balance ambayo imebakia mpaka sasa uh-huh. ni bilioni moja milioni ya moja sitina saba uh-huh. laki moja na arbaina na nao dai hela kwa huyu bwana wanyoshe mkono okay na wewe unadai thank you very much Okay. Okay, na wewe unadai kwake. Thank you. Yes, no problem. Sawa. <laughs> no, naomba nimtulie. I can also write down in the list. Yes. I can also balance with me. Yes. I can write down in the list. Thank you very much. Sasa, naomba kujua when that 1 mil 1 billion shilling will be paid. Hiyo 
hichi kiasi cha cha fedha ambacho mtelia wewe tu bado anadaiwa yeah. yuko tayari kukilipa ndani ya miezi sita Mm -hmm. That's too much. Sasa na kuomba dada yangu, mimi ni mstarabu sana lakini I'm very easy to lose patience. Yaani ni rahisi mno ku lose patience. Naomba ukakae pale nani DLS muoneshe hicho chumba cha hapo mkakae mconsult nje na the best proposal. I cannot allow six months. Siwez kuruhusu six months. Never. And this is not a court case. Sawa? It's not a court case. And we are not here. Haya sio madai. Hatu kukopeshana. It was a transaction. Hatu kukopeshana. I have to be very categorical katika hili jambo. Hatu kuko? Shana. Mtu kalima ufuta wake, mbazi zake, na nini, kapakia all the way kutoka lindi mtuara huko alikotoka. Kaileta kwenye go down, kakushushia, anasubiri malipo wakale yeye na familia yake. One year hajalipo hela yake, halafu you are giving me another six months. Na, na I want to be very, very open on this. Sawa? So, I want to be very, very open on this. Nendeni mkakae, that room, I'm giving you ten minutes. And you come back with the best proposal. It has nothing to do with my farmers. Nothing. Whether I'm a pata asara kwenye biashara. Sawa? Whether COVID ime haribu biashara. Whether supplier wake wa uko nje hajamlipa it is not my business. My business mkulima kaenda shambani kalima kavuna kakukabidhi mazao yake. Nataka hela yake. Go and discuss. Dada yangu tusijadiliane sana kwa sababu nimesha nimeongea tayari na vyombo vya ulinzi na usalama. Tusipoelewana we have our own ways of dealing with these issues. Mi na njia zangu. Sawa? Na nataka ni kwa kikishie, we will not go to the court. There will be no court battles in this. Na nielewa lakini? Hela za wakulima, no court battles. No court battles. No legal terminologies kwenye hela za wakulima. Umechukua zao la mkulima kwa shilingi mia mpe mia yaki. Aende akalishe na familia yake. Awa watu ni heka mbili mbili wana kilo miatano miatano elfu moja moja wamechangishana uko. Na tustazame maisha kwa kada slam. Kakai ni chumba kile pale, nataka nipate majibu ambayo ni tangible. Kesi ya kwanza imeisha. Na ni uko kombe dadangwe ni mwanasheria. Don't mislead that guy. Sawa. Yeye ndio ata face my music sio wewe. Now tunaenda kesi ya pili. Kesi ya pili inahusu inamhusu mushi na kampuni inaitwa nini? Mercedes. Yes. Haya nani anayewakilisha? Tell us the background. Uh, we started last year mm -hmm. exporting goods. Mm -hmm. uh, we were uh, approached by a couple of agents, the Lalis. Maybe labda at a kosa. We were in Yobiashara last year. Uh, initially, Yani manzo manzo tume, tume kutana na Dalma Dalali who were bringing us goods and we were paid them. Badai tume, tume kutana ni Mushi, Nicholas Mushi uh, ambayo wana kampuni yake anafania biyashara ya iyo mazawe anafania export ya niwe pia. Sasa ime, 
uh, he gave confidence to us that he can provide us large quantities of supply. I had very large quantities of buyer yani, to attack to Naya Sahibi in India. They are ready to deal with so. us. Uh, so we started giving him uh, requirements. He gave us the rates. He invoices us and we pay him. So generally we give him half advance and then half on delivery. That was our basic terms agreed upon. Yani, I to invoice your day दिखोहा ya mucho mucho la que ya chapo leta vida yo yo so there was some three trucks of soya to be paid by us we had offset it from 300 million advance which he had kwa hiyo there were yani truck tatu zimekuja uka offset kwenye advance aliona advance aliona umechukua kwa bank transfer and milioni 300 nyingine uh for dengu kwanza de, dengu ikaja shingapi dengu for 480 tons 480 tons eh. value 638 million 638 million t shilling fully paid aha uh alafu -huh. ile soya ya kwanza mlio offset soya value 186 million You offset it from the advance from Leo. 300 million advance which I had given him for Bazi. Let me imagine it. Kwa hiyo ka offset hii. Yes. Bazi lakini sijafika hata sawa tu. Haina shida. So I have to claim 138 million from, from him. Sawa tu. Which he kept on coming back to me with a lot of cases happened. We went to the Central Police Station with Sasa, the DC also. Sasa hapa mna shida. I know every I know everything. I know the background. I know what went na najua kuanzia central kule chini panaitwa Changombe kampuni Zambia pia thank you this guy yes so he has promised because we will start soya soon so he says i will bring you soya and we will offset this balance and my terms were very clear that i will not give you any advance anymore because to me what is a pesa sasa naomba unisikilize hawa nyinyi mlikuwa mnashusha mzigo wapi go down kwa nani mlivyokuwa mkishusha mlikuwa mnapewa delivery note chinta ni mdogo wake ndo alikuwa anamtuma huyo anakuwa na mshko pamoja delivery note mlikuwa mnapewa atusaidie kata si mzani na sio sasa hiyo rushwa mzigo na chukua mzani mzani wa nani mzani wa kampuni yake huyo kampuni ya huyo bwana kwa hiyo nyinyi mlikuwa mnashusha kwenye go down thank you very much sasa naomba unisikilize brother uh, do you have your lawyer here Oh, 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 yeah, he is my company secretary. Company secretary. How our kulima hawa na hao watu walikuwa wakileta mzigo Dar es Salaam wanashusha atiwa go down. Naomba msikilize. Atiwa na aliyekuwa anapokea mzigo ni Mushi na huyo mtu ambaye anahusika na kampuni yako. Ndugu wake yeye Chinta. Chinta. Naomba ni wala hatuko kwenye majadiliano ya kubishana hapa. Sawa? Na naja I'm trying to hold myself kuongea kwa upole na kujaribu kuwa kurizonate. Sawa? The business between you and Mushi and Mushi na Hawa wao wanachokiona ni kwamba Mushi is your agent. Which is officer. That's which is not correct sir. Because there is no documentation lakini from the eyes hawa watu wote mimi kwani nimekujuaje kaka yangu pia documents ipo sasa nasema mimi nimekujuaje okay. mimi sijakujua nimeuliza maswali mzigo mlikuwa mkifikisha dar es salaam mnashusha kwenye go down ya nani that is my first question wananitajia kuamba ni go down yako sawa lakini mtu aliyekuwa katikati yao wao na wewe hawa watu hawakuwa na direct relationship na wewe si ndio lakini lakini walikuwa na relationship ku, na wewe kupitia huyo mtu anaitwa Mushi. Sawa? Mimi I cannot separate both of you. Na nataka niwe honesty kabisa ya lilahi. Sawa? 
I cannot separate both of you. Menelewa, what is the value ya hela ambayo haijalipwa? Bilioni 2 na bilioni 1.75 kwa kwa. Okay. Haya. Nyinyi ndugu zake mushi. Yuko wapi? Nani ameenda kumpigia simu? Nimesema mumpigie simu. Kwa nini hujainuka mpaka sasa hivi mzazi? Na wala msio na hofu, nimeshaongea na balozi wetu Zambia, Simba. Sawa? Sasa hivi balozi Simba anafanya mawasiliano na vyombo vya ulinzi Zambia. Sawa? Tutamkamata hata kwa internet. Na nielewa lakini eh? Tutamkamata hata kwa nini? Kwa Interpol. Na hapa nimeshafanya uchunguzi kujua baba yake yuko wapi, mama yake yuko wapi, kwao ni wapi. Sawa? Sawa. Mimi nitakamata hata familia. Nimeelewa lakini. Sasa hawa waku, hawa wananchi hawa. Nikiwauliza swali mlikuwa mnapeleka wapi mazao yenu? Wataniambia walikuwa wanapeleka go down la XYZ. Sawa bana. Lakini the man between you and them is called Mushi. Sawa? Wanazo zile receipt zile receipt zenu za kupokelea go down ziko wapi? Yes. Na receipt zinaonyesha jina la kampuni? Menelewa lakini. Na na naomba nikueleze because I'm into this business. Sawa? I'm into this business. I know all of takers wanatumia madalali. All of takers wanatumia madalali wakati kupata mazao. Menelewa lakini. All of takers wanatumia nini? Madalali. Na kwa kuwa wanatumia madalali. Sawa tu. Na kwa kuwa wana, mnatumia madalali wakati kati. Mara nyingi hawa wakulima wanaibiwa. Wanafanya nini? Wanaibiwa and they end up crying. Because they do, they have not met you. Sawa? So, the transaction is straight to them through your middleman. Whoever is an agent is a mid any language we can use. Menelewa lakini. And my biggest concern leo ningekuondoa kwenye hook kama mzigo usingekuwa unashuka kwenye kwenye gala lako kama mzigo unashuka kwenye gala lako kama mzigo unashuka kwenye gala lako sawa so, there is no way i can take you out of the hook all I, all goods which has reached i will 100% pay yes you paid him you paid him because he is the supplier for me Yes. Sawa, lakini mimi useni nimetoka kijijini na roli langu lina tani moja. Nimekuja, nimepokelewa na mushi, nimeushusha mzigo ndani ya gala lako, nimepimiwa mzani wako wewe, unanipa risiti ya kuonyesha kwamba nimeleta kilo moja and some of your team ambao ni relative wako, they participate in the receiving of the goods. We should not you nasema hivi I'm not here to argue on the legal basis. Siko hapa kujadili mi, misingi ya kisheria na kutafuta njia za kisheria ambazo zinasema kwamba mimi nime leo mimi. Sawa? Mimi leo useni. I'm the minister here. Sawa? Mimi nipo kule kwa vijijini kwa my extension service. Who is the bit, nani yupo katikati yangu mimi na wakulima walioko Sumbawanga? Nani yupo? There is a lot of people in the middle. Sawa? So, if something happens, I cannot run away from the blames. I cannot run away. Na na nakwambia if you are in the agricultural sector and it is your business, sawa so, brother, make sure you build a relationship straight with the producers and the farmers and the responsible people. Because if these payments ambazo umeziweka in bullet kwenye account ya mushi Ingekuwa mzigo ukifika mzigo ukifika mushi anakuletea list ya watu walioleta the volumes with their bank accounts na unalipa moja kwa moja kwenye account za hao watu we could not have this discussion here yeye angepata commission yake he has his company which he does export also 
But Minas, I'm not talking about his export business. I'm not talking about his export business. Sawa, Mushi Anashamba. Does he have a farm? He, he does not have a farm. Does he have a go down of collections? I can be a Yes, yes, yes. Ndiyo hicho nacho kisema. Na mimi nawaelezeni what is happening in the agricultural sector. Na waelezeni wizi unaofanyika kwa watu. Mmenielewa lakini? You wanted sesemi mfano. Si ndio? Usinataka sesemi? Tuchukulie mfano sesemi. I'm speaking about a crop. Sawa? Au mbazi. Let's talk about mbazi. Si ndio? In this country mbaazi mushi hazalishi sawa so, kuna watu wana, wanaleta anaenda kuchukua kwa wakulima umenielewa lakini na wale wakulima anawaambia leteni dar es wanaleta all the way from their villages wanaleta dar es salaam sawa so, anaenda kushusha kwenye gala lako and the bad thing about this and this is na nataka nikwambie you cannot take a, you cannot run away from me from this fact hata kama labda amekuibia mimi nitakapopata risiti inayoonyesha mzigo umepokelewa kwenye gala lako umepokelewa kwenye mzani wako sawa and i'm advising you honestly next time and ne, tunaanza season sasa hivi any person anayekuletea mzigo sawa hata kama atakuwa dalali wa dar es salaam hata kama atakuletea dalali wa dar es salaam mwambie give me the num bank account ya of taker ya suppliers wanaokuletea huo mzigo wewe because hamna shamba la mbazi dar es salaam menelewa lakini when mushi stopped supplying us we still had pending contracts in india to be shipped and some of them had approached me that is the time we came to know when mushi had a case and other things i i made a couple of people like good go there they then I had pending agreements to be fulfilled for export and I was looking for goods by any means because otherwise if I fail there my email goes and I get penalties also from India that is the trend in the business that is how it works so this fellow came in this he did okay he said I will supply you same like Mushi and you trust him I gave him 600 million he delivered goods worth of 300 million and another 300 million never came and pakaleo i have even case on him and everything he is just i'm going to help you to get your 300 million from him i understand sir so? now in this period in this period when he also failed and i had backlogs of fulfilling my conditions couple of them had supplied me directly they approached me we met at the police station and they said ora nunua kwa tu mara moja then dealing with anybody else yes. i started dealing with them, with them directly yes. and i have made direct payments payment. yes. if you can ask any of them no, that, and that's it. never made payment on delivery yeah ndo nacho kusema hivi i you, always make payment brother payment. brother listen we are in the country and the situation whereby the formalization and the nature of doing this business in this country for so long sawa so, people who have been benefiting are the mushi types Umenelewa lakini and at the end of the day at the end of the day who suffers is the farmer most of the time of takers you will suffer on the defaulting of your contracts maybe you will suffer when you get the penalty so but where were you are surviving today there is a women here from tunduma wale wako wapi wale wa mama wa tunduma Yes. Simameni niki na mama. You see these women. Yeah? Hawa mama ni from Tunduma. Unanielewa lakini? They they accumulated mazao yao kidogo kidogo. Wameleta Dar es Salaam to fetch the better price. Umenielewa lakini? Wangeweza kuuzia huko kijijini. Kaeni mama zangu. Sawa? So, kwa hiyo you cannot take away the responsibility ulionayo wewe on top of mushi because wao hapa nimewauliza swali langu la kwanza walivofika mzigo mlivofika dar es salaam mliufikishia wapi 
wakataja godown lako mlivofika mlipokelewa kwa staili gani mzigo ulipimwa is there a document mliopewa yes document ina address ya nani owner of the company menelewa lakini lakini payment inafanywa na nani na mushi mushi where is he getting the money from he's getting from you menelewa lakini kwa hiyo let us find a way as a government site i will help you get mushi i will help you get mushi but these farmers must get their money mnawadai hawa wakulima unawadai wale sio wakulima wangu mimi wakulima wangu wewe si company secretary wakulima wangu wakilala mazao yao yamechukuliwa na kampuni yenu sawa eh mazao yenu yamechukuliwa mazao yao yamechukuliwa na nani na kampuni yenu sijui tumeelewana mimi na nyinyi tuna mambo mawili ambayo moja is to for you guys to pay the farmers kwa sababu mazao yao mnayo nyinyi nyinyi ndio mmeyapeleka nje ya nchi yangekuepo go down leo ningewaagiza hawa waende wakayachukue mmenelewa yeah. lakini la pili nyinyi ni victim kwa sababu maagent wenu wawili wameondoka na pesa zenu sawa kwa hiyo nyinyi mnatakiwa mniombe mimi niwasaidie kama ninavyowasaidia hao wakulima hiyo wala haina shida achana na hizo processi za polisi mimi nisikilize yoyote anayechukua mazao ya kilimo alafu asilipe wakulima au aondoke na pesa asidhani atakutana na kesi ya madai kwangu hiyo biashara haipo mnanielewa lakini hiyo biashara haipo kwamba tunaenda kuwekana kituo cha polisi alafu unapata eti nini mnaita dhamana kesho unakaa barabarani unatembea uliowazulumu wanakuona wanalia moyoni halafu wewe unatembea barabarani unakula wewe na familia yako hiyo biashara haiko kama mama yangu nisikilize Mama unisikilize. I know you are company secretary. I believe wewe ni mwanasheria by profession maybe. Thank you very much. Kwa hiyo naomba unisikilize kuna mambo mawili hapa yanatuku ya, ambayo yako mbele yetu. Sawa? Mna kesi yenu nyinyi ya kumpa hela yule bwana na kumpa mushi na kutokudeliver. Sawa? Lakini on the other hand, mna kesi yangu mimi ya wakulima wangu kuvuna mazao kuyaleta kwenye ghala lenu na kuchukuliwa na kampuni yenu. Menelewa lakini. Hawa watu kama Mushi was not your agent or was not your broker, was not your middleman. Huo ndio ukweli. He was a middleman. He was between farmers and the real buyer. Sawa? Na nataka nikwambie hivi, take away the mind ya kuja kujadili kisheria hapa. Sawa? Kwenye hili mimi nitaongoza kuvunja sheria. Na this is how people wanakuaga wanakuwa de, de, defined kwamba either hawaheshimu sheria ama nini. Very bad. Kwa hiyo mimi ninachokitaka I need this money. You guys hawa wakulima hawajapata pesa yao. Na maskini ya Mungu kwa sababu ya kutokuwa na uelewa na kwa sababu mfumo wetu tulivyoutengeneza daima ni wa kumuumiza mtu asiyekuwa na uwezo. Mnaenda kuwasainisha makaratasi haya ili kesho igeuke kuwa kesi ya madai. Guys, in my in my presence that will never happen. Sawa? Kwa hiyo nataka pesa ya wakulima wangu.
that's number one. Mimi wakulima hel- mazao yao yamechukuliwa na kampuni yenu. Sawa? Mbili, nimeongea na balozi wetu Zambia. Anashughulikia swala la mushi. Tutamleta hata kwa Interpol ama hata kwa nini? Tutamleta hapa. Sawa? Watu wa Tumbaku nimeuza nyumba zao. Menelewa lakini walichukua fedha hivi hivi za wakulima zaidi ya bilioni kumi. Wamelipa. Wamebakisha bilioni hizi? Nne. Menelewa lakini I don't work around. Na wala hatuko hiyo kujadili mimi siwajui hawa unajua mimi nilikuwa na makubaliano na Mushi na Chitan na hivi na hivi to me wakulima wamelima wamevuna wamepakia kwenye maroli wameleta dar es salaam yamepokelewa mazao kwenye magodauni yenu wamepewa risiti kutoka kwenye mzani wenu na wame identify mdogo wake na bosi wako he was there collecting the crops so while i help your issue I need a solution to the problem of the farmers. Sawa? So, na fedha yoyote mtakayolipa kuwalipa wakulima wangu, Mushi atakuwa responsible yeye, mke wake, ndugu zake, baba yake, mama yake, familia yao kuipata hii pesa. Anaojua ni kitu cha aibu sana. Na I don't want arguments kwenye hili jambo alipa hizi fedha bilion moja mwanasheria bilion moja bilion na atailipa ndani ya miezi hii sawa jamani na nawaombeni ndugu zangu wala msiwe na hofu msiwe na nini na hofu atailipa mwanasheria wangu wa wizara ya kilimo ata draft mkataba na kwenye clause kwamba fedha hizi sio madai ni kuchukua fedha mali ya watu kwa kuaminiwa na kutokulipa ndio itawekwa kwenye clause sawa mwanashi nani DLS sawa ili tukishindwana kwenye kulipa in miezi mitatu we take the criminal route not madai to me this is sio madai menelewa lakini na katika hii hela maana yake kuna hela ya huyu mtu si ndio au haimu Naomba nisome listi iko hapa na naomba kila mtu athibitishe. Mama Rosi. Mama Rosi, sio? Rosi ndio nani? Itabidi DLS yaandikwe majina kamili ya watu. Sawa, sawa. Sawa? Balance milioni 93 48800. Mudi Maswa nani? Yeah. You take all his details na kila kitu. Watengeneza nao mkataba na uweke tarehe ya yeye kila installment ya kwanza akilipa ujue kama tarehe ilitakiwa kulipa tarehe 25. Sawa? Tarehe 26 anatakiwa aje hapa ya siku inayofuatia na uthibitisho wa malipo. Sawa? Sawa. Na hawa wataunda kamati yao ndogo ambayo itakuwa ina in contact na wewe on this matter. So, let me ask you one thing I'm sorry to ask you. Are you born here? No. You are from India. Yes. Are you a citizen of this country? You are an expatriate. You are an investor. Don't destroy the image of your country. Listen to me carefully. Na I'm I'm telling I'm just trying to be very polite. Don't destroy the image of your country. Yes. Nimewaambia I mean nini? business i want him wewe si ni kaka yako mushi ni mdogo wako baba yako tesega nyumbani kwenu nalia kama mtoto mimi na tesega mimi nalia nyumbani kwenu kama mtoto mimi mungu ananijua malipo mungu anayatambua sio duniani hapa sio mateso ndio nipa mungu ananielewa mateso ni tesega mimi ni tesega jambo tangu umeelewa yule mama kaweka rehani nyumba yake Umenielewa lakini wamechukua mkopo benki Unanielewa lakini Sawa 
Sawa. Baba yako si yuko pale karibu na CCM. Si ndio yuko baba yako anafanyia kazi pale. Sawa. Mimi nimejuaje? Nimefanya my due diligence kuijua familia yenu. Sawa. Mwambie ndugu yako. Mtakuwa lesson. Yaani nyinyi mtakuwa sehemu ya mafundisho ya watu wanaofanya biashara kwenye sekta ya kilimo. Mazao ya wakulima wangu yamechukuliwa na kampuni ya huyu kupitia mushi. Ndio ninachokijua mimi. Sawa? Lakini fedha za huyu hazitopotea. Mtalipa. Amna kuongea nani? Sawa? Swala lenu nalishuhulikia mimi. Kwa hiyo msimpigie simu, msifanye nini? Wakima, akimaliza mwanasheria wangu wa wizara na kusign kila kitu hapa, akigonga muhuri na kila kitu akisha sign, mmemaliza mtapewa nakala yenu ambayo inaonyesha malipo ya kwanza ni lini, malipo ya pili ni lini. Sawa jamani? Kwa sababu ameahidi kutulipa kwa mikupo mingapi? No miwili. Ni miwili tu. Siji tumeelewana. Kulipa kabla ya siku ya mwisho ni vizuri na sisi tutawasiliana na nyinyi. Lakini na waombeni tukisha sign na kukubaliana. Achaneni mawasiliano nao. Sawa? Mnanielewa lakini mtakuja hapa. Sawa? Na nataka niwahakikishie hakuna atakayeondoka nje ya nchi. Kati yao.